Hey there everyone, it's Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus drydocks.com and I have before me a giant RC lemon to share with you. So, what we have before you, some of you may recognize as a German Delphin mini submarine-esque boat. Now, the story behind this was that originally this was going to be an actual scale model of the German Delphin submarine, but a gentleman by the name of Robert latched onto it and he had other plans for this boat, reached out to me uh, through his mother and we came up with this submarine. So uh, Robert had a lot of very um, specific plans in terms of the color scheme uh, and the little pilot in the boat. The rest of it is kind of up to us. We had a lot of fun building this because it is really just a purely performance oriented submarine. Teardrop shaped hull, contra rotating propellers in the back. This thing is basically, as it looks, a rocket ship. Um, I do also want to mention that uh, we call this here uh, affectionately because of what Logan, my son, recommended, the McDelphin, because yes, it does maybe remind you a little bit of something that Ronald McDonald may take out to the ocean when he goes there. Let's walk through this boat front to back and we'll share with you what we've got. This is a fiberglass hull that we manufactured here at the dry docks. So this is uh, an epoxy hull top and bottom with 3D printed uh, shell on the top and a little acrylic dome where the uh, operator would sit. On the very front you can see a little kind of a little nipple there and this is actually a soft rubber cone. Um, the real boat had one of these as well but we've cast it in rubber just so that if you do impact something you've got a little bit of shock absorbency up there. Now this also performs double duty because uh, you can unscrew this and that is how the upper and lower hull is held together. Before we get into that though we're just going to walk to the back of the boat and you can see some of the linkages here. Now these linkages in the back are fairly accurate to what the actual boat had. It uh, had these horns that would come out here would run on the outside of the boat to the rear dive planes. Now, in my research, I did not see any external linkages for the rudders, um, but it made more sense for us to do it this way. It's a little bit easier to work on and it maintained the look and feel of those stern planes. You can also see these contra rotating propellers here. We got one that spins that way and then the one that spins uh, this way We've got uh, our rudders uh, on the back here. Now, when these were originally built, they ended right here. And we put on these fiberglass rudder extensions uh, because we really wanted to improve the fun factor in operating the boat. So now we tripled the rudder area and uh, it turns much, much easier. Now that we've gone over the back here, let's uh, take a look at the inside of this unique submarine. So you can see there is no cylinder inside the boat. Um, this is a watertight box and you've seen me utilize these before. We have a waterproof connection that powers the twin brushless motors. On the top here you can see two antennas uh, oriented in a T configuration and that is because we are running a 900 megahertz radio system with this boat and you can see that unit right here this is a free sky tyrannus radio uh, with the r9m radio module in the back moving back here all of your linkages are readily available easily accessible uh, and then we've got our dual brushless motor uh, motor assembly here. So this motor here runs uh, through the center shaft of this one and powers the sternmost propeller. You can see that one spinning. And then the uh, aft one here spins the outer shaft and that's the inner motor 
right there. We've also got a little um, support bracket here that helps isolate this drive shaft from vibration. There is a lot of force that goes through this, so uh, we want to make sure that everything is centralized and smooth. It's really, really easy to operate this boat, so we're just going to turn on our radio, make sure that our throttles are centered, and we're going to pop open the box, and that's how easy it is to gain access to it. Two latches, you flip it open, you've got pure access to everything inside. Here's your radio receiver. Um, it's an eight channel receiver. We're only using three because this is a dynamic diving boat. There's no ballast system. It's nice and simple. Uh, we're running a 7.4 volt lithium polymer battery pack. It's uh, a 5200 milliamp hour unit. Uh, so it's got a lot of battery capacity. Twin um, Hydra 30 uh, ESCs in this particular boat and then our two heavy duty servos. You can see them labeled one for rudder and one for dive planes. And that's it. That's everything that's inside this boat. We're going to go ahead and connect the power. Chuck the lid back down. Make sure there's no wires trapped by that lid. Press it down, lock it, and that's it. We're ready to go. So we've got our dive planes going on here and our rudders. And then of course we've got our contra rotating propellers. This is a fast boat and it moves a lot of water. We had it out to the pond today and it was an absolute blast to drive. I think it was probably pushing, you know, like a six inch wake when it was up near the surface of the water. It's a lot of fun. I'm actually anxious to bring this to Subfest here in a couple of weeks because we have a little thing called the Great Submarine Race and I think this is a contender to take the title. We'll see. It's 90% operator, so anything could happen. Um, I think Robert will probably be at the helm when that happens, so we'll see how that goes. But that's it. That's an overview of this super simple submarine. Now, I do want to mention something. Now, Robert is not uh, you know, an, an adult in that sense of the word. However, um, he does now have ownership of this boat. This submarine is not a toy by any stretch of the imagination, and neither are any of the submarines that I offer and sell here at the Dry Docks. Toys are the kinds of things you get at Walmart and on Amazon. These are typically handcrafted scale replicas of fully functional submarines. They require a degree of uh, understanding on how the boat works, and they also require the owners to perform regular maintenance on the submarines in order for them to operate reliably. So just bear that in mind. If you are ever, and I've been approached many, many times by people in the market for a submarine for a child, make sure you know what you are getting into. If you don't have the time, inclination, resources, or expertise to maintain and repair these craft, don't buy it. That's my advice to you little uh, public service announcement from your friends at the Nautilus Dry Docks. So, with uh, that, we're just going to put this thing back together again, jam the nose back on, and it's ready for the pond. Well, there you go, the McDelphin. Brought to you by your friends at the Nautilus Dry Docks. If you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. You can drop them down in the comment section below. If you have a question though and you want to reply quickly, email is always the best way to get a hold of me. That's bob at nautilusdrydocks.com. If you like what you're seeing here, please do like and subscribe. It is really helpful to us here at the Nautilus Dry Docks. But with that, we are going to let you go. Thank you for joining us, and we'll catch you next time.